We're going to have a look at a program called Advanced Web Ranking. It's a very powerful tool, uh, desktop based, to check your ranking on search engines. It's also cross platform, which is good. So, first thing to do is select the project that we've made earlier. And you create a new project just by the means of a very simple wizard. And we're evaluating the professional version here. You start with this assistant uh, that gives you all the options in the application that are commonly used. But we're going to dive right in and show you the UI. So on the left pane here, you've got the keywords that you want to track and monitor, the search engines that are supported, and the websites that you want to keep an eye on. In any of these panes, you can add. So here we're adding a new keyword that we'd like to track. As you can see here, as I type, it goes off to Google Suggest and gets the suggestions back, which gives us some interesting options. Let's start tracking this one. And we can add it just like that. If you've got a word tracker account, it can also plug into that. And you can also import batches of keywords. The feature I like here is this one. You can import all of the Google suggestions very simply. Just like this. So let's add all to project. And now we're tracking all of these keywords. It's prompting us to now check the ranking for those keywords, but we'll not do that just now. We'll do that a little bit later. And if you want to add different websites that you want to track that you rank against, you can do that in this interface as well. Now, the application is really geared up towards um, search engine marketing companies, and you can even email the client a report straight from the program here. What we've got at the top here are all the options. Now, what advanced web ranking is really geared up for is being a, a powerful analysis tool. A lot of the web-based UIs don't offer the same kind of ability to slice and dice your keyword data. And that's where this application really comes in handy. What we're going to do now is check the ranking of these keywords. And it's as simple as clicking this button up here. Now what it'll do is go off and scrape the search engines and because it's doing this it does take quite a while to do. Obviously Google don't like the use of tools like this so this application here um, tries to mimic what uh, a normal human using a web browser would do. So it does take quite a while to bring the data down. Now this isn't a problem if you're a search engine marketing company because you can, you can leave it running you can schedule it, that kind of thing. But that's one of the disadvantages of using this tool rather than a web-based tool, is that, that you have to set up that infrastructure yourself. So we're going to leave that to do its work and return in a little while to see the results. It's nearly complete now and it's taken just over 45 minutes to track 23 keywords on three search engines. As you can see here you can monitor what it's actually doing and if you're going to use one of these tools to scrape the web results pages of search engines it's good that this tool allows you to configure things such as the the rate of requests and we're complete okay so as i said earlier one of the, the truly powerful things with advanced web ranking over its web-based rivals is the ability to slice and dice this data all in a single user interface rather than have to load it up in excel So what you can do 
is track multiple keywords and their position, which is very useful. The overview tab is probably one of the neatest areas of the application. And as you can see there, I'm just multi-selecting the keywords and it's showing me how I've moved since last time. In this case, I'm tracking two websites owned by the artist and a competitor's website as well. A lot of these tabs display the same information but in different ways. So for example, a client may want to see uh, how their long tail keywords are performing in comparison to a competitor, or maybe they're just interested in the overall direction of their rank. This tool allows you to do all of that easily from a single interface. The one that I find most useful when it comes to optimization is the visibility tab. Now, as we know, the exact position in a search engine results page doesn't particularly matter apart from the big three. First place, top three, top five, then down to the top 10, 20, 30, etc. So this tool allows you to see how those things are moving. And in this case, we can see that, yes, the artist's website is definitely moving in the right direction here. The other feature of this tool is keyword analysis. Uh, it can be used to perhaps come up with new keyword suggestions based on the content of your page. But even more so, it can be used to tune those pages to particular keywords. So for example here, we're looking at the root lilyallenmusic.com website. And what it does is analyzes the keywords on that page. We see that the keyword Lily occurs 18 times. So that's an overview of the tool, but as I said earlier, this is a very powerful way to check your search engine ranking and monitor that. And it's definitely geared up to search engine marketers who have several clients to track. What we haven't looked at here is the reporting capabilities. It can extract to a PDF and export to spreadsheets and CSVs, those kind of things as well.